Smile, episode 5. How's it going, everybody? Discussion. Uh, discussion. Okay. As you can see, we're in the powerhouse. Power, power room. room. Power room. So that means discussion time. Uh, of course, be uh, arm, power on, check out. Oh, easy, easy. Put those guns away. All right. Didn't really bought tickets yet. Tickets <sighs> to the gun show. Anyway. Which are on sale on Amazon for nineteen ninety five. So, topic is remix. Remix. I put it on my Facebook page earlier, and I got a lot of responses. Uh, pretty good responses on the fact that a lot of people like remakes, and there are some that I didn't even know were remakes of certain remake uh, movies. Yeah. Movies. Yeah. Um, so let's start at the beginning. Let's first. First, I want to get into it because. Recently, all the remakes are like popping out ever since the millennium hit. But before that, you know, you had remakes like The Thing, which is an awesome remake. John Carpenter, you know. I, I like the original. Yeah, the original. Keep cool. talking about remakes. I'll just keep telling you I like the original. And then, um, well, you can't really say The Thing because The Thing, the remake from the '80s, is more awesome than the black and white one. Right. Yeah, but, I mean, yeah, but they're accept. They, this is the thing that like they're the considered one. acceptable remakes. All right, I'll give it that because you know they're remaking stuff from black and white. Night of the Living Dead, nineteen ninety, I liked it, I enjoyed it. That was decent. Yeah. Um, but then after Psycho hit, the remake of Psycho, which everybody was like, you know, they're just basically, uh doing a recount of or uh, just a word for word remake of Hitchcock's version right. and only adding like Rob Zombie on the soundtrack and here and there little odds and ends uh, bizarre clips and photos like you know when Norman Bates was like, going full on psycho just like fucking just throwing at you like pictures and images of naked people being tortured and shit you know uh, psycho stuff but so there's the thing about remakes, and that's where I, I disagree with a lot of people about remakes. It's that if you go remake a movie, uh, keep it to the original. Yeah. Uh, keep it somewhat to original, but adding adding and certain flavors, flavors to it. Yeah. yeah. But what they're doing now, and you told me about the Day, Day of the Dead. The Day of the Dead remake, which is nothing, nothing like, like the original. Because we were talking about that's one of my favorite uh, movies. That's Bob, right? Bub. 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 Yeah. Bub the zombie. Which in the remake did turn his, his bud. And the reason why he didn't eat people was because he was a vegetarian. That made no sense. kidding me. That made no sense. And then they put, they put, um, <laughs> what? what actor? Uh, Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon's Nick in there. Cannon. Wiling out. Nick Cannon. Strong black male role mm, model no, type of role. Not strong. He's <laughs> not strong at but all. But Ving Range dies in that movie, so there had to be another black guy in there, you know, to keep the keep the flavor going. That's not even even in. That's not even. That's not even in the original. The original was on an army base type yeah. thing. The only black the, dude in there was a Jamaican. Yeah. Or I think he was Rastafarian or something like that. Jolly Rastafari. Anyways, it had nothing to do with it, and I, I, I would boycott it. That's, I mean, I would have to a watch it now. A lot of people did. A lot of people boycotted that movie. They really had like a full-on passionate hate for that that remake. It's a, and nowadays they 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 I don't know. I can't. I'm speechless about the whole remaking thing. It's just to me, yeah. it's ridiculous, retarded. Let's go down the line of how what of, of stuff that they've been remaking lately. I mean, you got. The last house on the left. I mean, they're going full on grindhouse after the fucking prop is not working. After that, put that in 3D. Yeah, 3D okay. right uh, at you. Uh, after like grindhouse hit, they started going all the way back to the old school stuff. You know, last house on the left. I spit on your grave. Oh uh, wow! So they the text chainsaw remake. That was way before, but still, that was like what the fuck, you know? They right. just change it all up. I mean, the last house on left was decent. Uh, decent. They, they kept it brutal, but the original yeah. was the best. Yeah, know? I mean, got, yeah. I mean, I forget the guy's name, but he just recently passed away. The bad guy from Last House on the Left. Within uh, the last year, he passed shoot, away. I remember his name. Can't remember. Yeah, I forget. David something, but, you know, they just take a movie, try to keep it to the original storyline, but they just 
try to put it like a full on torture porn aspect to it. It just they think they're making it more brutal, but it's pretty much lean. I mean, I'm I'm a I'm a naturalist man. I like the original stuff. Right. Look at the Fright Night fucking remake. Oh. Oh, I just threw up a little bit. CGI yeah. Gadridge. Sorry. I mean, really, Colin Farrell? Really? Yeah. Why? I mean, I, and it wasn't I even. They didn't even keep to the original story. They change it up again. Every single remake they do, there they was it. there was no girls like like a freaking locker full of girls like just keeping like a fucking uh, a fresh supply of blood. Are you kidding me? Ugh, made no sense. And, and the, the whole mother was like you know in on it, and Peter Vincent was like a, a hack eye kind of guy. Right? Yeah, it's just, he's not even in the full movie. Like, Oh, it, it makes to me it makes no sense why they make you remakes. If they're gonna do remakes, like really keep it true to why you're making a remake. Yeah. You want to make the movie that was original, and maybe improve it somehow. But they're not improving it at all. They're ruining it. And I know there's gonna be a lot of fans that's gonna comment on it. The fans like me will be like, but it's entertainment. Why can't you just let it be? It's entertaining. I've never saw the first one, but I like this version. But screw you, go watch the original and you're going to understand what we're coming you're saying, from. You're saying, you're saying, you're saying like, um, they're just remaking it so that this generation can, you know, Relate. know what, but, re- but, hey, if they want to know, tell them to go watch the original, watch the original Nightmare on Elm Street, the original yes. Halloween, yes. the original, well, I guess, I don't know, I haven't seen the Piranha remake, but I was pretty fucking cool. Well, CG, you know, they, they could do CG. Yeah, really. they made it super gory. We should do a review of Piranha, I have it. Oh. Did you watch it? I haven't watched it yet. Okay, we need to watch it. Yes. That would definitely be one of our reviews. Yeah. Um, we'll see We'll see if it's a, a, a remake that is worth, you know, reviewing. Right. Maybe, I don't know. I saw, like, one scene where a guy is yelling, like, they bit my dick off. Or something. Yeah, there's a genital <laughs> eating scene that I heard. My brother, Kiyoki, you know, shout out to you, brother. I don't know if you're going to watch this. But, yeah, he, he's, a, he's a horror fan. Um... He's almost geek status, but uh, he not as much as me. I mean, I no, take no. it back, man. I'm no, you are fan. you are the Jedi. I would have to say, the Jedi. Yes, of I, or yeah, I'm Maui. I'm, I'm Maui. No, there's 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 far more other guys out there that's more worthy of the title, but at least I'm Maui. I'm the kind of guy that'd be like, oh, have you ever seen that Lucio Fulci movie? And people would be like, it's Lucio Fulci. <laughs> well, my boy Joe made a comment about um, all the different stuff. Wait, hold up. We might go over time on this one. I'm gonna have to stop yeah. this, but hold up. Let me, let me, At least it, as long as it's under 15 minutes. Well, let me let me show you a little some some here real quick. What do you say? Uh. uh oh jeez, my phone is acting up. Hold on. Oh boy. Hold on. I'm hold on a second. My oh, boy Take Joe two. Vince Cruz. I'm yep. gonna I'm link him. I'm showing him. He said my and he said this on Facebook. My favorite remakes are of cowboy of the, of the cowboy flicks. Last Man Standing. Oh. Was a remake of the uh, Fistful of Dollars. Four Brothers, which I have, is a remake of the Sons of Katie Elder. True and the man. most recent was The Expendables. Or get this. That's in a, that there used to be a western? Which is a remake of The Magnificent Seven. If you I think did about not it. know that. If you did, if you, and which is a remake of a Japanese film called The Seven Samurai. That's right. See? So, you know, I mean, those are cool remakes. I, I can yeah. see that. It's it's it, but it's keeping to what a tradition it was traditionally made for, the Magnificent Seven. They're a badass elite group. They went out, you know. It's like almost like the Dirty Dozen. Yeah. Almost similar, the same thing. And they're just changing it up. Right. So. Taking it for the modernized world, but the thing is with the horror remakes, God. Have you seen the Nightmare on Elm Street remake yet? No, I I I am boycotting it. I have it. I'm boycotting it. I might watch it if I'm bored enough. <laughs> if I watch it, um, I'm I'm honestly boycotting it because the I don't know if uh, the original guy who played Freddy is in even in movie. No, it's not. So no, who they got? They got the fucking bad kid from the the bad bad news bears from the seventies. Right. The one that the the one that threw the baseball. Yeah, and he's probably gonna see some almost the same age as Robert England. Right. Why couldn't he just get Robert England to play in the remake or you know, make it a sequel or something? But oh. and the the fact that I think it's on our intro where his hand is melted, the glove is melted on his hand, ain't it? 
It's like no, that's from the new nightmare. When oh. Red Scraven he created that's this right. whole story where Freddy Krueger started to break into the real world. Right, 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 right. That's right. No, my bad. I mean, like somebody told me that the glove is it. It's this. That was supposed to be the original design because when you we look at the the cover art for the poster, it shows a skeleton with the with the claws going right. out. Right. Yeah. So yeah. I'm you know I don't want to watch it because one there's no quick whips with uh, any quips with. Uh, Freddy making any, I mean, later on in the series, he didn't make, he was a little too smart assy. Yeah, cheesy. But there was no... The cheesy lines, the catch right. lines, catch phrases. Yeah, there's no catch lines in this movie, I heard. Look, the prior time, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you got the body, but I got the brain. Man. You know, all that, you know, all these catch phrases and all these lines, it's Which not in the movie. Him awesome. They made, they made Freddy Krueger look more, they tried to make him look more demonic and evil looking and... All of all the freaking dream sequences would be like more brutal or dark. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll watch it. I you think know. it's because it's for this evil degeneration. Everybody's depressed. <laughs> so if, if you guys are wondering why we got these looks going I'm getting on, fucking tired 3D. of this goddamn thing. 3D. 3D. Um, I'm doing a little shout out to uh, Mr. Cinema Junkie. Right, because he's a cholo, right? Old school cholo. Old school. Even like a cholo. Wait, wait, let me do it. Let me do it how he did. I, I remember he barely could see. Yeah, he did a hoodie. He did a beanie. A beanie thing. What up, Bato? What up, Bato? You watch yeah. this movie? Hey, Mr. Cinema Junkie. Hey, Bato, you gonna... You gonna... What's going on? Oi, man. I can't see a thing. Anyway. <laughs> 3D. Anyway, so... So bottom line, bottom line remakes. It it if they don't do it justice, yeah. don't do it at all. And if you guys like the remakes, more props to you. But if you watching the remake and not understanding what it's remade of, go watch the yeah. original. I hate people that say, "Oh my God, I love this movie," and then you say, "Well, you know it's a remake," and be like. And they're like, really? It's a remake? It's or a they re- go, that's a remake too? Oh my god. Oh, that's yeah. past my time. Oh, see, past oh. my time. It's okay, that's okay. I'll um, just run it again two more. Two more minutes. Two more minutes. <laughs> two more minutes. We're I trying to time this. I here. have a lot to say about remakes. They are remaking Child's Play. And I'm looking forward to do it, watching it. I want to see it. I want to see what to see what, what CGI Chucky would look like. Right? And if they use the same voice. They're probably not. If they don't, I am gonna light fires in theaters. I swear. I mean, no, I'm really not. But that will be end of all. The, walk because walk I'm out of the theater and demand your money. Yeah, I will. And if it's in 3D, right. I'm even boycotting it even more. What the fuck is it gonna 3D? Is dick? Yeah, I don't know. correct. <laughs> I mean, the raping the mother in the middle of the night, popping out of the good guy <laughs> doll box. <laughs> that. Movie is such a cult classic that my kid, who's right. almost 13 years old, is still afraid of it. And I don't like the movie because of that. I like the movie way before that, and I I like the movie. It, it freaked me out. It's to hear that little pitter patter at the feet. Yeah, you don't know where it's coming from. And, and just be amazed when he started talking and shit. Yeah, and, and the shock factor. You could just imagine if that really happened to you. Picked up the doll and he says. And he starts going off. Yeah, and he starts talking to you. What are you gonna do? You know, I always thought, oh, I'll throw that doll, but you're shocked that it's talking to you. Yeah. He's like, oh look, it's the man, and he kills you. You know what I mean? But it's just. And it bites too. I don't like things that bite me. <laughs> Wait. Especially. Not that way, dude. Oh. Like you know, a horrific way. Like I'd be like holding a dog, and all of a sudden it started biting my neck. I'd be like, Get the "Fuck off me!" <laughs> Not like getting bit. Like, oh yeah, baby, that's how. It <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyways, um, Child's Play. I'm looking forward to the remake of that, only to see if they keep it true to what yeah. it originally was. And that's one of my favorite movies or uh, slasher flicks, supernatural slasher, slasher yeah. flicks. And I like the guy who played Chucky, the guy's voice. Uh, yeah, or he is a bad. And Bryn is turned on by him. Uh, I so I, so you're you're telling me. I don't no, I, she she says it's the hundred, the one hundred. By the way, I'm gonna mention you guys. Um, if you're not sub to Bryn, Ice Cream and Macabre, 
sub her up right now. She has a hundred subscribers now. She's holding a contest. I'm one. Yeah. He's one. I'm gonna. I'm and gonna... he's the main one. Right, Brain? Bingo! Uh, I love you. <laughs> Hi, Junior. Hi, Junior. So we gotta we gotta end this before we you gotta do yeah. a two parter again. So um, Bomb Nine remakes. Keep it true to the to the original. Yeah. Um, I, and you know, that, that's flavor, a flavor. You know, but other than that, Donald the Dead, I enjoyed it. You know, it's like fast, I, fast zombies. Yeah. You know, that was a neat, neat little twist. It scared the crap out of me because I really, keep you know, it entertaining. If you can make it entertaining, people will be like, you know, it was pretty good. Uh, it was entertaining. I, I was entertained. It's Killer Cow, <laughs> Tony Midnight, episode Peace out. five. Keep episode it going. Five the can, yo. Route. Peace. Peace. Huh?